Is meditation dangerous? Many people ask, or oh, you know, how is the is there any side effect of our meditation? Some people say dark side of the meditation. So people ask me a lot of questions. And for me, if you learn meditation just only from the books, only or maybe nowadays there's a many people teach meditation and the teacher themselves doesn't have deaf, very deep understanding of meditation. Or maybe they wrote a book based on that, not the really expert who wrote the book. So could be sometime um, might have some side effects, especially what we call if you look for meditation for think of nothing, block thought, block emotion, empty mind, empty brain, then that kind of meditation is uh, impossible actually. You cannot block your thought and emotion. Cannot have empty mind, empty brain is impossible. And then there is always a thought. The mind has always moving, constantly changing. And if we don't know how to embrace that, then what we call the thought become your enemy. Emotion become your enemy. Noise become your enemy. Busy become your enemy. Stress become enemy. So then in the end, through the meditation, your mind not become calm and peaceful, but become more kind of like sensitive and become more um, agitate, agit develop agitation. So therefore, it's not the right uh, instruction and don't try to meditate like that way. So that's the one thing. So try to get rid of thought and emotion. Try to block thought and emotion. Or some people, when they think about meditation, is looking for bliss, peace, calm, joy. You like meditate, peace. So that's what we call craving. So when your mind have too much expectation about meditation and attached to the experience of meditation, crave for peace and all this, then meditation also not so easy because when you look for peace, the peace, peaceful experience says, I'm busy. You have to make appointment. <laughs> so normally our mind does the opposite. You can try, you know, you can tell yourself, don't think about the pizza. What happened? You will think about the pizza. And when you really need to think, oh, I'm in the exam, I have to remember all things, mind become empty. So that's the, what normal mind does, sometimes what we call uh, unpliable or not walkable. So through the meditation is actually to develop our mind, become walkable, pliable, and actually the real goal of meditation is to connect with our basic inner goodness. So we have the fundamental quality of our mind what we call awareness, love and compassion and wisdom. So these three is there as background of all the thought, emotion, ups and downs of life, ups and downs of feeling, the background of everything. So normally what we call awareness is like uh, sky and thought, emotion, feeling up and down is like cloud. So through meditation, we can connect with the deeper quality of ourself. And when we do that, then there's a more um, freedom, more what we call liberation. So now our mind does the opposite. But when we connect more deeper level, everything's okay. The real happiness is when we connect with awareness, love and compassion and wisdom, we will get real happiness. So therefore, through my style, my lineage of the meditation style, the main focus is the awareness, not the object. Thought okay, no thought okay. Emotion okay, no emotion okay. Mistake okay, no mistake okay. Right okay, wrong okay. 
happy okay not happy okay up is okay down is okay why all this are cloud and the fundamental level you cannot be wrong you cannot there's no mistake in the awareness there's no mistake in the love and compassion and wisdom so awareness oriented so this is really important not the object oriented not based on the cloud based on the skies itself so this is a very important um, message and special if you are looking for meditation special at the beginning don't think that meditation is stop thought and emotion don't think that meditation only look for peace and come and joy what meditation is to really connect to your deeper quality within yourself which is awareness love and compassion and wisdom